Hey guys, Mr. Rocker again, back in my undisclosed location here at Pasco eSchool, uh, recording some math videos for you guys. So today, again, we're going to be talking about place value. And we're going to be taking what we've already learned about place value, and we're going to be using it to see how we can write numbers in expanded form and how we can read numbers a little bit better. Now, I know in previous lessons, we practiced with reading numbers, especially when we were taking a look at like at the periods, right? At that those... Uh, like the hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands place, and the millions and stuff like that. We learned about how those periods can help us read numbers better. But we're gonna work with that a little bit more um, and learn how we can write numbers in expanded form and all sorts of good stuff like that. So again, more place value practice. Can't get much better than that, right? So the first thing I'm gonna have you do is I want you guys to write a number for me. So make sure you have your blank uh, place number chart ready to go. If you want to label it at the top, you can do that. Uh, today would probably be a good day to put it in that plastic. Um, write erase kind of board thing because we're going to be writing numbers and erasing numbers if you don't have that that's cool too but uh, just make sure you have your place chart place value chart ready to go and uh, be ready to write some numbers so here's your first number i would like for you to write 1708 in your place value chart so 1708 write that in your place chart value chart for me all right cool so i'm going to go ahead and write it in my place value chart too so you can check yours against mine but if i had 1708 i'm going to start here with 1000 I'm gonna have my 700s. I don't have any 10s, and I have an eight, 1,708. Okay, cool, check it with what you got, make sure it looks the same. So looking at this number now, what's the value of this one here in our thousands place? What's the value of it? Exactly, the value of that is 1,000, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and write that there, perfect. So the value of that one in the thousands place is 1,000. What about this guy here, this 700? What's the value of that guy? Right, so we have 700s, right? So the value of that would be 700. Perfect. All right, what about our tens? Well, we have a zero in the tens place. That means we don't have any tens. So the value of our tens is zero, okay? And our ones? Right, our ones are worth eight, okay? So we have this number here. We looked at the place value. We kind of broke it down. So this tells us something about this number. We have 1,700s, no tens, and eight ones, okay? You with me so far? Good. So another way that I can think of this number is as 1,000 plus 700 plus zero, nothing, plus eight. So 1,000 plus 700 plus zero plus eight is going to give us 1,708. It's the same value. I just wrote it in two different ways. It's kind of like having an alter ego, right? If you think about superheroes. So when I'm a teacher by day, my name is Mr. Walker, but when I'm a superhero at night, uh, my name is Mr. Incredible. I know he's kind of already exists, but I had the name first. But anyway, it's an alter ego. We can say that this is 1,708. It's also 1,000 plus 700 plus zero plus eight, okay? Just writing it in expanded form. And I just said expanded form, which is a new vocabulary term. So go ahead and cue the music. Math vocabulary. Perfect, so expanded form. This is expanded form. That's a new vocabulary term that we're working with in this lesson, expanded form. And what that means is we're gonna write that number broken apart basically by its place value, by what each digit is worth in that number. Now you can see in this uh, expanded form that I did here that I did represent the zero, but most of the time when we're talking expanded form, we're not gonna worry about that zero. So I'm just gonna kinda you know, cross them out there. So we can just simply write this as 1,000 plus 700 plus eight, okay? 1,000 plus 700 plus eight because, oop, I wanna change that to 1,000 instead of 100, right? Because if I wrote that, it would be 1,700, no tens, I would have my eight one. So I'd still have to put that zero in there if I was writing it in standard form, but in expanded form, I don't have to put that zero in there, okay? With me so far? Cool, let's try another one. Go ahead and erase your board and we'll try another example. Okay, so this time I would like for you to write the number uh, 27,085. 27,085. Go ahead and write that in on your place value chart and then we're gonna take a look at its expanded form in a second. So 27,085. Okay, so if I was gonna write that in on my place value chart, I would write it as 27,000. And here, any hundreds in there, and 85, eight tens and five ones, okay? So this would be my number of 27,085, okay? 
The reason being, again, as we're talking about our periods here, this is my thousands period. I have 27,085, okay? No hundreds, so I put a zero in there to represent that. When I'm writing in standard form, that's perfect. Let's think about the values of each of these numbers and then how we can use that to make our expanded form. So what's gonna be the value of this 10,000 right here? In my 10,000th place, I have a two. What's gonna be the value of that? Perfect, well that's gonna be 20,000, right? So basically that's two 10,000s, right? Same thing here, okay? So what about our thousands? What's the value of that seven going to be? Perfect, seven thousand. All right, cool. So we got two ten thousands, which is 20,000. We have our 7,000 here. We have zero hundred, so I'm not gonna put a zero here. I'm just gonna leave it blank. I don't need anything there. We have our tens. I have eight tens, so that's 80, right? Eight times 10 is 80. And then our five ones down here. Perfect, so I got the value of all my digits that I have in there. So now that I have my values listed here under each uh, place value, each digit, I know what each value is, how could I use that to help me write this number in expanded form? What would that look like if I wrote this number in expanded form using the values that I have here? All right, so it would go something like this, right? I would have 20,000, right? Plus my 7,000, plus my 80, plus, my five, okay? Don't have to worry about the hundreds because I don't have any hundreds in there. When I convert this back into standard form, I would have to put a zero there uh, as my digit because I have a zero in the hundreds place value, okay? But I don't have to write here as far as the number sentence goes because if I add up 20,000 plus 7,000 plus 80 plus five, I will get 27,085. And now again, let me, let me write and read this number to you in standard form one more time. 27,085. My zero kind of looked like a six. There we go. Now it's better. So when I read that number, 27,085, what do you notice about the way I read it and where the comma comes into play? What do you notice? Is there anything that you notice there? 27,085. What I wanted to get across to you is, is that you kind of pause here when you're reading the number, just like when you're reading a sentence and you come to a comma, you kind of pause the same thing you're gonna do when you read a number, okay? So 27,085. Even if I was writing this, I would put a comma there because that's where I would pause and that's actually the same place where my pause would be in my period, right? So 27,085, whether it's in standard form or word form, you're going to pause with that comma, okay, when you're reading it. Um, out loud in when you're writing it, okay? So hopefully it kind of makes sense, kind of brings those things together as far as what we learned about the periods and putting commas in and how that actually impacts the way we read and the way we say numbers and the way we write numbers. Okay, let's build on this a little bit more and take a look at another number. So in this place value chart now, I have a new number. So I want for you to look at this number and read it out loud, okay? I don't care if you read it to your learning guide or to your cat or to a neighbor, call up a friend, uh, whatever you need to do. Read this number out loud to somebody, okay? Okay, so we have this number and whether it's the way it's written in standard form right now, we should read it the exact same way when we're reading it out loud in word form. So we have 270,000, because that's the period we're in, 270,800, and 50, okay? So just like we're seeing here, that's how we're gonna read it out loud. So again, we could think of this, this is where that comma would be, right? At the end of that period. So 270,850, okay? So we have those numbers, that's how we would read it out loud, okay? So take a second now in your place value chart and see if you can write the values of each one of these digits according to the place value chart that it's in. Go ahead and write those numbers underneath so we can work on the expanded form part of it. What is the value of each digit in this number? Okay, so if I was gonna write the value of all of these digits here that we have in our number according to their place value, I would have 200,000. And then I would have 70,000, right? Because it's in our 10,000th place. In my thousands place, I have nothing, right? So I'm just gonna put a zero there for now. I'm not gonna write it when I do my expanded form, my number sentence, but I have it here for now. I have 800s. 
I have five tens, which would be 50, and I have zero ones. Okay. So now, how would we take this, the values that I've written here under each digit, how would I take that and turn that into a number sentence using addition that I could use for expanded form? So how could I turn these values into a number sentence using addition to represent expanded form of this number? All right, awesome. So I would take my 200,000. All right, 200,000. And I would add that, add to that my 70,000. I am not going to add in the zero because that's not going to change the value of it one way or the other. So I'm just going to leave him out. I will add in my 800. I will add in my 50. And then again, I'm not going to add in this zero because it's not going to change the value. So this is a number sentence that could represent our 270,850. I wrote it in expanded form. I have it in standard here, form here. And word form would be 270,085 or... Two hundred seventy thousand eight hundred fifty. I think I might have read it wrong a second ago when I was looking up here, but you could see it in word form here. Two hundred seventy thousand eight hundred fifty. All right, so we're going to do one more example together, but this time we're going to work our way backwards. So I'm going to give you the expanded form to start, and I want you to figure out what that number would be in standard form, written up here in your place value chart, and in word form. So you're going to have to read it out loud to somebody. So I'm going to give you. Let's see. Okay, so here's our number in expanded form. 700,000 plus 8,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus 3. So if I was going to take this number and turn it back into standard form, um, put it in my place value chart and then read it, how would you go about doing that? Take a second now, try that out uh, on your own in your place value chart, see if you could fit it into where it needs to go. Okay, so I'm looking at this now and this number it starts with 700,000. So I'm going to go to my 100,000s place and I'm going to put a seven because I have seven hundred thousands. Okay, looking next for my ten thousands. I don't have any ten thousands. I have an eight thousand. So that's going to go here. And since I don't have any ten thousands, I'm going to put a zero there. Okay, you with me so far? Then come to my hundreds. I have five hundreds. I have seven tens. And I have three ones. So that would round out my number. So if I read this number now, looking at my thousands period, I would have 708,573. Once again, 708,573. So I have my expanded form here. We took it back to standard form and then we read it out loud in word form. Practice reading this. The only way you're going to get better at reading numbers is to read them aloud to somebody. So again, like I said, if you need to go get a neighbor or your learning guide, have your cat sit down, whatever it is, read them to, to somebody and practice that reading by period 708,573. Practice breaking them apart and doing that. Um, it's the only way you'll get better is through that repetition uh, um, and using those periods and those commas to help you. So hopefully this is starting to make some sense how we can use a place value chart to, um, to write numbers in expanded form and to help us to say numbers in written in word form. Again, we can think of these as like alter egos of the numbers, right? We can write them in the standard way. We can write them in the expanded form way. We can uh, save them in the, in the word way. There's all different ways that we can represent these numbers. It's their alter egos that they go out and fight crime at other times under these different personalities, right? But they all have the same value. They're all made up of the same value. Um, it's just uh, different ways to show them. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, have fun practicing this today. And again, as always, reach out if you need anything, if you think of anything else. And uh, thanks for watching.